Hello and welcome. In this short video, I will try to walk you through the process of uploading several documents and combining them into a single Adobe file. So here I am on my Apple device and I will go to Apps. If you are using an Android device, then you go to your Play Store and I will search for PDF Scanner. Now, as you see, many options will pop up in here. That's because there are many apps that, that do a similar or same job. And what I am going to talk about is the cam scanner. That's the one I use. So once you download it, then you click on open and that's what you're going to see on the first page. Maybe you'll see some other advertisements as well for you to subscribe to premium. So I'm using the simple, the basic, the free version of it and things that you will see are the search engine and you have uh, on the top bar in here various options about document collectors pdf tools but i will stick to what i'm trying to explain in here the single thing <laughs> and but you you want to explore them why not and at the bottom you have the camera and what you want to do here is press camera and once you press camera, you will see at the, at the bottom bar, you have various options. So that will, you will make a choice ba based on uh, what you, what kind of pictures you're taking, so what kind of documents you are scanning. And um, <clears throat> what you wanna do when you are taking a picture of a test or evaluation then is use the batch option. The batch option allows you to take several pictures and combine them together into a single file. Now, if you take a single picture, then, or if you choose single, then you won't be able to combine them together. So I think that now I'm ready to take the pictures. And here I have a book. And I will take my first picture here. Now, one thing I wanna mention is when you are taking the picture, please hold the camera parallel to the uh, document that you are trying to scan. And here goes my first picture. So moving on to the next one. And I will do three. So the process is very much, very much the same. Okay, so now I have all three pictures. And what I'm going to do is click on the three pictures right here, and that will take me to editing them. So there is some pre-editing done for me, but I will readjust it based on what I like to do, or what I think is better. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> another thing I wanna mention is that you probably may wanna use both hands when you are cropping the picture, because if you use only one, then uh, this is what can happen, okay? It's not like, it's at least on my phone, like when I uh, move the corner, both sides, the consecutive sides will move together. Anyway, so there we go, okay? And let me take a look at the previous one. So see, this is not very good cropping. So don't trust the machine, stress yourself better. <laughs> And the first one is right here. So what I'm going to do here is press this check mark button and see that I have all three pictures in here. Okay. Now I wanted to look at the screen and think, okay, so where would the option of combining all the pictures together be? So you see that there is a tab to collage, all right? So I am going to see I told you about the advertisements <laughs> and I am going to go back to my pictures and I want to have a PDF preview just to get an idea of the quality of my work so uh, this is just the first page and this is the second page and there goes the third page see they are all three of them are together and the next thing that I want to do here is press the check mark and I will select all of them. And now I will 
share as a PDF. And once I, I press share again, then I have the many options of where to share. Now I like to share them on my Google Classroom or I like to share them sometimes on my notes when I want to write down on or take notes on the pictures that I've scanned. But this time I'm going to save them on my Google Drive. Okay, so I will click on my account and I will select a folder. I'll go to my drive and I want to save it under distant learning, for example, and save here, upload it. Let's see if I've done a good job. Wait a few seconds. Okay, and hopefully it's there already. Sometimes it lags, so don't panic. Just give yourself a few seconds. So let me check in here. And there it is. Let's see what the pages would look like if all three are in there. Yes, they are. And if uh, you upload all the pages of your test in a single file, you will make a teacher happy. And you want to have a happy teacher when he or she marks your paper. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is it. And I hope you found the video useful. And uh, I hope this all made sense. <laughs> Bye for now.